Nothing funny about this. I'm just writing my name. It's just very quiet. It's the quiet that's Usually funny. this type of card means the guy will resell it. <laughs> what are you getting for it these days? Now. All right, we have a we spare. We have a spare in case anything happens. <laughs> Let's just make sure they're all plugged in, however. They're all, they all are plugged in. Are you ready? Are you getting sound? Yes. Picture, speed. We got a light bulb and everything. Now that we're off to this amazing start, um, <laughs> you came in through the side door, but I don't know, did you notice the frenzy going out in front? <laughs> no, I didn't notice the frenzy going out in front. I saw some guy uh, standing there with a need tickets sign. People need to. People are crazy for you, though, now. Isn't uh, that something? How does it make you feel? Really, really good. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Well, do you like being a big star? It's the greatest. What else is there to do in life if you can't be a huge star? Do you ever get to the point, though, when you're going to the gas station in your, I don't know, um, Porsche, perhaps, that you wish, do people start to bug you? No. People are very nice. And most of the time, if you're having a problem with something, as so often happens out in the world, where you can't get a, you know, service or someone to help you with something mm -hmm. that you're trying to do at a rent-a-car or, or a gas station, as you mentioned, they will go, oh, you're so-and-so, and then they'll help you like they would never help you if you were a stranger. So most of the, this whole thing of the, the hassle of celebrity is a huge smokescreen. It's a bogus myth because we don't want people to know how great it really is. So you love it? Yeah, it's great. Now, how do you feel about the women, though? There are women I out like there em. saying they're, he's like a, a sexy lot. guy. Yeah? Yeah. Are you a sex symbol? You yeah. Think? Well, I don't know. It's a hard thing to symbolize, you know? You stand still. But uh, I don't know what that means. I'd like to be a sex symbol. I don't know what you get for that. You get a lot of admiration out there. Really? Huh? People admire that. Well, you know, they're just like, he's a sexy guy. <laughs> now, well, I'm going to show you just how much you're loved here in that. Seattle. A guy used you to get a date. He asked if someone would go out with him, they only had to be fun and normally attractive. But he had tickets. What's Y.O.? Young orangutan? Young orangutan. What is it? Years old. Oh, 29 years old. 29, yo. Not that I've even. Hey, you've been through these. With an extra ticket, looking for a fun and funny one who loves to travel. An extra ticket to Jerry Seinfeld. That was the key. They're using you to get dates in this town. Where's That's how hiking boots and owns you are. pumps? I'm in a really good mood. <laughs> That's what it says. I'm normal looking and in a really good mood. Could a mood last that long that you could get it in the paper and have <laughs> someone respond, call you, and you're still in that same mood as when you placed the ad? That's, that's cool. That's Not great. Bad. I'm just glad to be a part of what's going on, you know? Now. Here on planet Earth. 
Another question for you is, I know it's rude to ask someone how much money they make, so a I'm lot. not going to ask you that. A lot of that. money. I don't have a band behind me. You don't? No. I don't have any roadies. All I have is this outfit. That's it. It's a lovely outfit. Thanks. One question I wanted to ask, though, is with all that newfound wealth, why do you continue to come out here and perform? This is my thing. That other stuff doesn't mean anything to me. Seriously, this, this is what I'm about. This is what I really like to do. TV show, making money, all that sex symbol nonsense you're talking about. Mm -hmm. I, that's, no, that's nothing. This is the thing. Man. Get up there by yourself and do something. That's an accomplishment that really means something to me. A year ago, we interviewed you when you came through Seattle, and it wasn't quite the big craze yet. You were pretty popular, but not as popular as you are today. And you said that, no, comedians never get the girl, that it's usually the rock and roll stars. Has that changed? Yeah. Yes, it has changed. What, <laughs> what would you say typifies the kind of woman that, you're, that you enjoy? I find them to be, they enjoy traveling, <laughs> dance, uh, they like to explore, they wear hiking boots, and they own pumps. Well, that's perfect. That's the kind of one. <laughs> <laughs> Let me take one more thing here. Um, oh, we've read a lot that you get a lot of the ideas for your TV show from everyday experiences that mm -hmm. you go through. Anything happen on the way to Seattle that we might see in a, in a show one of these days? It takes a while for it to percolate through the system, you know. Mm -hmm. It's, it's kind of like, uh, it's got to filter through the coffee grounds. It takes a while. Maybe. Is Seattle still known out there, as you said, as the pesto of cities? <laughs> yeah, it's a very, it's a happening place. Everybody wants to eat pesto and live in Seattle. All right. <laughs> <laughs> They would never forget a thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> Do you really need a windscreen that big, by the way? I, well, Indoors. yes. For someone like you, maybe so. Um, well, I guess you're not going to you're not going to dish any more than on how you feel about about all the the women out there. There. How I feel about? Yeah, them? I mean. I don't know what you mean. Well, I just want to know. I mean, d does it does it make you feel good? Just to, we could. Play Doesn't it. make me feel bad. Yeah. Is there anybody special in your life right now? Special? Yes, you know. <laughs> like beyond all the norm. They're kind of special. Beyond the norm. I'm pretty special. You're very You're special. special. Um, no, nothing beyond the norm. Nothing deviating from the general curve of um, success and failure. I'm too busy right now. Mm -hmm. So women, there still is a chance. There's a chance. There's always that chance. Okay. If <laughs> you fill the qualifications. Which are? You gotta be in a really good mood. Okay. That's number one. I'm happy. Which this guy is, by the way. <laughs> Great. Okay. That's perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Were we the most professional crew? <laughs> <laughs>